The ingredients for the mango strawberry salsa is two diced mangoes, probably about a half a cup of strawberries diced up, about a quarter cup of red onions, finely diced, and about a third of a jalapeno seeded, deveined, and diced very finely as well. I would say about a quarter cup of fresh cilantro, chopped as, um, chopped as much as you can get it, and then some chipotle pepper that we're just gonna uh, stir in there, probably about a quarter teaspoon because it's super hot. That'll just be to taste. Hey everybody, it's Christy from Christy Cooks for Life. And so today we're doing prep cooking. And one of the things that we talked about was the mango strawberry salsa. So that's the first thing I'm gonna make for you today. And I went ahead and did some chopping ahead of time because it does take quite a while to get this prepped up. Not really a long time, but not something that we wanna have on film the whole time. So the first thing I did was I took my mangoes and I have this amazing little tool. If you don't have one when you're chopping up mangoes, it might be a good idea to get one because they're a little bit challenging to uh, prep. So when you slide this down over the mango, it literally takes the seed or the core right out of it. You can just toss that. And then what I do is I take each half of the mango, and I don't know if you can see, but I scored it with a paring knife. And then it's super cool. You can just flip it over like that. And then you just take your knife and you peel all of that off. And it just comes off really easy. Uh, this is a nice ripe mango. The first one I did wasn't so ripe, so make sure you check your mangoes. Um, but it's gonna be nice because it'll add a little sweet and tart to our salsa. So see how simple that was? And there's not a lot of waste and you don't make a big mess. So that's my uh, tip of the day. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna mix all these ingredients together. So the, this amount of um, strawberries, I almost said tomatoes, um, these strawberries that I found were amazingly sweet and juicy and they're pretty big. So I only used three uh, strawberries to get this many like to get like a half a cup or three quarters of a cup. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. This is gonna be such a pretty salsa. And I don't know about you guys, but I've had enough of winter and cold weather. So this is exciting to me. I went to the, when I went to the store, they had all these fresh ingredients that just looked delicious. So I went a little crazy. So we're gonna add our purple onions. I use my knife to scoop that up a little bit. And our jalapenos. I just left that out for you guys to see. It was about a third of that medium-sized jalapeno. And then we're gonna throw our cilantro in. I mean, this is a super simple uh, salsa. It's just a matter of mixing all the ingredients together. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. And then, oh goodness, I have it all sticking to my hand. So we're gonna wash those off. Remember that if you like these recipes and you wanna see some more you know, heart healthy recipes, to follow me, like me, share my recipes, you know, all of those things on social media, you can find me at Christy Cooks for Life. I'd love for you to follow me and share as much as you would like. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, I literally am just gonna sprinkle this around the top of it. I'm just gonna cover the surface, which I think is about a quarter of a teaspoon because this, um, chipotle pepper is spicy. So if you don't like it super spicy, you don't have to put that in there. You can put less jalapenos. All of those things are fine. So, and I'm gonna put a half a lime in here just to, you know, have it be a little bit brighter and give it that, uh, the acid that we're looking for. So I know this is a lemon squeezer, but it works for both. You don't need two tools to do the exact same thing. So I'm just gonna pour that around there. And then, of course, I didn't, oh, yep, I did grab a spoon. Ha, ah, thought I forgot it. And we're gonna toss that all together. I mean, the awesome part about this is it's so fresh and, you know, you have control over what you put into the salsa. There's no salt, there's, you know, no sodium, and all of these fruits are super good for you. So, 
the thing about this is the reason I'm making it first is because we want it to set and marinate a little bit, but I want to give you a quick look at that. Look how amazing and vibrant and fresh that looks. I cannot wait to have that for dinner tonight. So we're going to set that aside. Actually, you know what? I'm going to taste it and see if it needs more chipotle pepper. Probably not, but we're going to give it a try. Mm. Oh no, mm -mm. no more. It's super hot already. When it sits for a while, it'll get even warmer. Woo, it might take my breath away. Okay, so that's the first thing we're gonna make today. Next thing I'm gonna make is a marinade. I have some steaks out and I wanna make um, shish kebabs. So we're gonna go ahead and make a marinade. I'm gonna make a chimichurri marinade. And I'm gonna put the steaks in for a little while. Now I'm also gonna use that on my grilled vegetables that I'm gonna cut up later. So stick with me, we'll be back with our next recipe in just a few minutes. <laughs> 